Only a few people in the White House knew that we were actually sending Dr. Kissinger there. So he, myself, two others went on the trip. Now that's uh, a banquet, a small dinner that Joe and Lai hosted for Kissinger on our first night on the secret trip on July 9th. Uh, I'm at the lower left of the photograph and you can see Kissinger and Joe and Lai greeting each other. There's Marshall Ye Chin Ying, Huang Hua, Zhang Wen Jin and the American delegation, uh, Nancy Tang and so on. The secret visit in 1971, I think, was one of the most important geopolitical events uh, in the last century. Uh, <clears throat> our two countries had been separated for 22 years by hostility, uh, total isolation. We had fought each other in Korea. So it took us uh, two or three years after Nixon was made president in 1969. And we had two challenges. One, how to get in touch with each other. We had no diplomatic relations, so we had to find a secret channel ending up with Pakistan, a mutual friend. And secondly, we had to send public signals to our publics and to the world that we were looking for a new direction. I was his special assistant. I became a special assistant in 1970. And he wanted someone involved in all his major diplomatic ventures to help bring a global perspective and how the various parts fit together. So I was very fortunate. My wife was the principal tutor of mine on Chinese affairs, of course. Uh, I married her when I was still a foreign service officer in 1963, and she was born in Shanghai. Dr. Kissinger knew that I shared information with my wife, so he told me I couldn't tell my wife about the trip. Uh, so what I did was, in those days, the capital of China was known, at least in the United States, as Peking. I took my wife to the window, and there's a American saying about someone who spies on you from the outside. So I said, look outside that window, I think I see a Peking Tom. So she's very smart. She understood that meant I was going to go to China, uh, but I had not actually told her. So I kept my place to Kissinger, but also informed my wife. Of all the events in my life, probably the most dramatic was the secret flight from Islamabad, Pakistan to Beijing in July 71. And I was the first American official to enter China after 22 years of mutual isolation. The reason was we were in this Pakistani plane and Kissinger and the other Americans were in the back of the plane. But I was toward the front. So as we went into Chinese airspace or Chinese territory, I got there before Dr. Kissinger. I, I met Joe and Lai. Uh, the Chairman Mao was not involved. That was going to be reserved for President Nixon's trip. But I was very fortunate. I was in every single meeting that President Nixon, President Ford, and Dr. Kissinger had in the 1970s with Chairman Mao five times, uh, Joe and Lai hundreds of hours, and Deng Xiaoping hundreds of hours. So I've been extremely fortunate as a witness and participation in history. We very much enjoyed Peking Duck. In fact, we had it on the, we arrived on Friday, July 9. And on Saturday, July 10, uh, in between the negotiations, the Chinese closed off the Forbidden City so that we could have a private tour. But after that tour, we went to the Great Hall and had a Peking Duck lunch with Zhou Enlai. I love Chinese food. Uh, there's a saying in America, you know, what would you choose as your favorite food for your last meal if you were going to be executed? And I said it would be Peking duck. Uh, I always call Dr. Kissinger my mentor and my tour mentor. So he would stretch my patience. Uh, he would stretch my nerves by his constant asking for revisions and perfection. But he also widened my perspectives and I learned a great deal. Uh, so I'll always uh, be grateful to him. Uh, I was his speechwriter uh, uh, for much of his speeches. Sometimes others would do it as well. Kissinger would ask me to do a speech on a particular subject. I'd give him a first draft. He'd call me into his office the next day and say, is this the best you can do? 
this would go on for five or six drafts. And I finally got so exasperated, I said to Henry, yes, I've changed and polished every paragraph, every word, I've stretched this, this is certainly the best I can do. So he looked at me and smiled and said, in that case, now I'll read it. I think the secret trip in July 1971 uh, was the single most important event for President Nixon on the international scene and the single most important event in Dr. Kissinger's entire career.